Shei Awoyomi. Uh, the character I'm playing is Labisi, and uh, my good friend Bella is uh, someone who's also open to learning new things. And I have the opportunity to show her the beauty, the good and the bad of my culture. Of course, I'm Chastity Saunders, and in the film, I portray the role of Bella Armstrong, who is in love with Dio. Um, today, we had a day at Auntie Sherry's, which was absolutely amazing and indescribable. I think one of the main things that drew me specifically to this film is how it explores different cultures um, with African-American culture and the African culture, specifically Nigerians and the Yoruba woman. From the African market, we bought everything we needed and she was really, really excited about it. The whole crew, everybody was really nice and helpful. And you know, she's cooking. She's, she's been on her feet all day. She's not sat down at all. I got a chance to go in the kitchen with Auntie Bola and Auntie Sherry, who showed me the ropes of how to cook a traditional Nigerian meal. And that, I'll have to tell you, is definitely not something that's easy. So I have to tip my hat to these ladies because they're absolutely amazing for doing what they do. Your culture is your base, your core, your foundation. It makes you who you are. You can adapt and take different things on but that core keeps you on track so you don't lose yourself with the influence of living in somewhere like new york city or in the new world i say people tend to lose the sense of who they are if you're not grounded in your culture so having the opportunity to introduce Bella to my culture is a good thing in the sense that she has heard several stereotypes about my culture so i'm in the good place to some I can defend, most, let me say most I can defend, and then enlighten her to things she never even thought of, like eye contact, for instance. In my culture, someone older than you, you wouldn't necessarily look at them in the face. But in this culture, if you look down and you don't give someone a, a, a eye contact, you look at as someone being deceitful, someone not, you know, someone not trustworthy. What, meanwhile, in my culture, it's a sign of disrespect. <laughs> So. Uh, well, I mean, I think it's all in, in the title of the film, Denimu Never Let Go. These women showed me today why their men will never ever let go of them because they're so priceless um, in their culture. And I think that that's something absolutely amazing. I think that it's something that all women from every culture could learn, learn from. Yoruba culture is not just a language. It's not just the people. It's in everything. The food, the way we walk, our carriage, our posture, our smile, the way we hold our head up high. It's in everything. I was born in England. Luckily for me, my parents took me back to Nigeria. And when I got there at first, I didn't understand the culture. But later in life, it's one culture that will not trade for nothing. Sometimes, when we come out to America, we forget our culture. And that will really affect a typical African man, a typical Nigerian. Because as we all know back home, the man is the head. But out here in America, no, it's a woman's world. I feel amazing. I actually feel like I'm walking a bit taller, standing a bit prouder. Um, I feel confident and beautiful and gorgeous. And I really have to say I feel like a princess in what I'm wearing today. It feels really, really good. It really does feel like I'm going back to my roots. Okay, when I'm wearing tights and a blouse, it's different. The stance, your stance is different from when you're wearing rap and booba. You're a queen when you're wearing rap and booba. So it's different from me being a homegirl when I'm wearing my tights and a piece of uh, blouse. In our culture, a, a, a woman has to have a lot of irambuba so you can back your children. So that is the main thing about the irambuba. But you know, so it's turned into fashion. You know, you you match it out, match it up, put some earrings, you know, some jewelries. You dress elegantly. You know. 
And sometimes we wear the, um, the it's like a booboo, a dress. You wear the, you use the head tie. Before it used, it used to be just a head tie. But now we have the egili and the pele. So it's two piece. I'll have to say today was incredibly priceless uh, with preparing for the role of Bella because I'll have to go back to something else I heard today, which was the saying, um, it's okay to have a bad husband but not okay to have bad in-laws. So it goes back to knowing that when you're marrying a man and marrying into a family, you have to really be accepted by the family and that will be your backbone, that will be your structure to help you get through anything else in the culture. So with dealing with uh, Darren Kay and Sister Becky in the film, now a lot of the, uh, the script, it means so much more to me and I can really identify with what that means just being here today. Everything that they explained to me and described to me, I saw that in real life today. So it's the most important thing that the family, you know, accepts you. You cannot marry a Nigerian without the culture. When you find love, you're willing to do anything. She's willing to go to the length of learning the culture. She wants to know everything because she really wants to make a home for herself. A lot of times the director or um, the, the crew, the production will not give you these experiences. So the fact that I got a chance to spend a day at Auntie Sherry's and I got a chance to do the cooking, to the dressing, to how to um, approach um, any, any woman or man in the culture, I feel like it was the most vital part of my preparation. I think that now when I go back and I look at the script, it will be so much easier for me to understand what the words really mean. Um, a lot of times as an actor, we really have to go off of our own and we have to create our own background and our inner monologues. I think by having this experience today, it has equipped me so that I am completely ready to take on this role. And I think that it's very important that in every role you put a little bit of yourself into it. So yes, I will be portraying Bella Armstrong, but I would most certainly be putting Chastity Saunders into it. When she start playing the role, I know people will be wondering, is she Nigerian or not? She's a beautiful person, she looks beautiful, and we named that an African name. Omolewa Ayokaade. That means the child is beautiful. She's full of life.